Hey guys, this is Prison Architect, a game by Introversion Software. Um, there will be a link in the description of the video if anyone is interested. So all I'm doing right now is grabbing my grants, and I've planned out my prison, basically. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to start off with my first building here, and I'll be building my second as well, and then I'll just basically wait for those to finish it. Uh, you don't want to do too many buildings right when you first get going, because you'll just have trucks lined up and you won't be able to actually receive all of the needed materials to build all the buildings at once. Um, so the bottom building there is going to be my kitchen. And you can see with those white lines is where I plan to expand my kitchen if I actually need to. Um, so I'll be using that uh, as I gain more and more prisoners. And as you can see, like up in there will be my holding cells and, uh, you know, different buildings that I'll go over when I build them. So the bottom side of that's going to be my kitchen. The top side will be my canteen. <clears throat> And then just above that will be my main hold, my first main holding cell. And uh, I'll be doing a workshop rush basically in this video, um, where I want to get my workshop up and running within my first day or two with the initial grant money that you get. Um, that'll allow me to actually make money and start to expand my prison. Um, you can see I'm placing in my offices right now. I'll be placing in three of those um, because you need three to be able to actually get up deployment and get up. Uh, the prison labor um, to be able to use your workshops. So I'm zoning in my kitchen, getting my uh, utilities up. Uh, nothing too important about that. And this will be my main area. You can see that I'm going to be walling off my entrance into my prison. Um, the reasoning for that is so that I can actually make that a staff only area so my prisoners don't just walk out the front door. And that'll allow me to keep my doors open to the outside without actually risking prisoner escapes. Alternatively, you can deploy a guard into there and keep your doors locked. And uh, the guard that's stationed inside of that room will be able to open each door, and it'll be pretty quick. <clears throat> so uh, just throwing in the necessary items for my canteen and kitchen here. Going in, making sure everything's powered. And I'm, initially I thought I was just going to skip that other room, and I'm just planning out where my shower is going to be, because I want two holding cells and then my shower. Um, but then I end up just building both buildings anyway, um, because I don't want to have to wall off everything. And that's what I'll be doing next, is so that my prisoners can't escape through the bottom, I'm going to be taking my wall and just kind of going along so that my prisoners won't escape. So down in that left area, I'll be putting in a yard, and then down toward the south there, I'll be putting in my laundromat when that actually happens, which will be at the end of this video. Um, the size of my holding cell, I wouldn't ever want it to be any bigger than that. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get into laundry. The only reason that you would make it even smaller is because you really only want 20 beds. You can go a little bit above that, but clothing starts to become an issue if you get holding cells with more than 20 beds in it. Because the, the uh, what do you call it, laundry baskets only hold 20 clean clothes at a time. Um, so you can see I'm placing my beds now, and you can really put them as close as you want together, and they'll still use them, but it's nice to have a path through your holding cell, um, because it will slow your prisoners down if you wall off everything with beds. It takes them a lot longer to get through an object than to just walk um, without anything. So, zoning everything is office, I got my warden. And I pretty much am set, for the most part, um, for my prisoners to show up. And I still have 48,000, so I'm going to be working on my workshop shortly. I do have to get the shower up and running first. As you can see, I'm the shower heads don't actually need to be placed on walls, I believe, but I like the way that that looks, so that's why I do it. <clears throat> but I can put a ton of shower heads on every one of those walls, even though you don't necessarily need to do it. Um, it looks good, so that's why I do it. So a little bit of family and recreation, and now I'm changing in and putting free time where all the nothing slots are. Uh, the reason for that is, like, if you have a nothing slot, your prisoners will just stand in their holding cells and won't actually do anything. Um, so if you have free time, they'll go and satisfy their needs. But most of that will be replaced by work once I get my workshop up and running. So you can see my yard one in there, and now I'm really zoning in for my workshop. 
Um, I'll be building a huge workshop here and you really want one about half the size that I did um, because the workshop's actually maxed out at 20 workers. I didn't know that for uh, this current playthrough. So the next time I play I'll be rezoning that and making it into two different workshops. So there's my workshop going in right now. It's pretty enormous. I would want that to be half as big so that I could get 40 people working there instead of 20. And I got prison labor coming, but I won't actually be able to afford my uh, necessary people to research it um, until my first prisoners arrive. So the doors, and pretty much none of this stuff is like super important. Um, the workshop placement could be a little bit closer to deliveries. I will run into some problems if, my, if I expand my workshop too much where my workers will have to walk too far to actually deliver the uh, scrap metal. So that's the only idea with this layout that might be a little bit bad, but it still works fine um, to be able to expand at a pretty decent rate. So. Um, you need at least some yard, some way of getting them exercise. You can use weight benches at first if you want to, um, but yard is only space and they'll get exercise from that. So um, You do run pretty close to actually running out of money when doing this, um, but you do have your workshop up, so it's not too bad. I think I'll have just enough money to be able to get the grant with health and well-being right at the end. Um, after my workshop's already up, so that'll give me an, an extra $10,000 that I use on laundry um, so my clothing doesn't start riots. So as you can see, I open up every door except for the um, first door there, even though I do open it now. Um, it's best not to do that until you get deployment and set that as staff only. So my first prisoner's just arrived. I'm opening up opening up pretty much every door in the prison and just making sure that they can get to everything. Because until you get a psychologist up, which won't come out, come in until much later when you're doing this, um, you won't really know if they're actually, actually keeping their needs down, so you really have to give them a lot of free time at the beginning. And then you see my first work is coming in because I know my workshop's going to be up tomorrow. So I'm putting, up, putting in, in, it in after um, the time that's already like, went through. Not anything necessary, but you can do it. And when you're doing this, make sure you don't run out of power, because the workshop will drain quite a bit of power, so make sure you have the cap capacitors you need um, to actually run your workshop. And I'm giving myself like a little bit more space than you technically need to run a workshop, but it's not too big of a deal. So yeah, I'm adding in two more capacitors so that I don't overload on power. And you can see I'm going to be working my people to death. Uh, currently, your prisoners don't really need to sleep as much as you would normally think they do um, with this current build, which is Alpha 10. So you can, you know, knock them down quite a bit. And so I do have my prisoners working on day two which will get me a little bit of extra money. And shortly I'm going to have to add in beds for my next day's prisoners. I do still have 14 hours, but I will have to have beds for them. So there we go, I'm adding in the beds now. <clears throat> And now I'm setting up, setting myself up to get that $10,000 grant uh, for the health and well-being. So I did just make my uh, little entrance there staff only. And that'll keep prisoners from escaping. Although I don't think they'll escape either way. Um, as long as you have two doors to the outside, it seems like they won't go through them. I would have some problems, I believe, if I uh, had my prisoners working in the kitchen, though. I think they might try to escape through that door because it's so close to the outside. But generally, I just hire cooks, because you'll be making a lot of money once you get your workshop up and running. So as you can see up at the top, my uh, level of 
like anger for my prisoners, my danger level is starting to increase a little bit. So I need to make sure that I do have a little bit of free time to keep them down. Um, I believe I worked them like a little bit too much for their first day. They need to like keep all their needs pretty low until you get your psychologists up and see what they actually need and when they need it. Um, but other than that, I will be selling these to get a little bit of extra money, and then I'll finish up that grant shortly after. Like, I'm still trying to uh, get all of the necessary like machines in the workshop to be able to have a maximum of 20 prisoners uh, working there for tomorrow because I will have to like I can only have eight at first right because you only have eight prisoners But tomorrow I'll have 16 so I need to make sure I have 16 up there and those two boxes at the top um, Actually get stuck up there and they're dismantled work machines because uh, I had to reposition them so they get stuck up there until tomorrow tomorrow's day's work And then they'll go back and be fine So the building that I made down here that's gonna be my, my medical ward the infirmary is blocked out until you hire your uh, doctor, and then you get your doctor, get your psychologist and the second doctor, and uh, once that medical bed goes in there, I'll get that extra $10,000. So you can see my money's only at 665 so it's really kind of a tight build, I guess, um, to be able to get your workshop up and hit that grant on day three. But I just got the money. I'll end up placing in the rest of my items for my workshop and making sure that has power, a couple more capacitors. And now my prisoner's prison's really up and operational. The only thing I do have to worry about is getting laundry. Um, my clothing will start to spike around day four. You really need to get your laundry at least started so that you don't get too far behind on it. Because clothing is like one of the slowest things in the game. You really have to have an efficient way of doing it. The way that I like to do it is just not actually have like individual cells, but have big holding cells. So I can just take that one laundry basket into that holding cell, and then drop off 20 clothes, and then bring it back. It seems to be working for me. So that bottom part there will be my laundry. If you have too many people working in your laundry also, um, they will just bump into each other, even though they do have jobs. And then they'll just get stuck, and they won't actually do anything. So you have to be careful of that as well. So I'm adding in my showers for tomorrow, now that I have 16 prisoners. And shortly here, those boxes up on the top will be moved in, uh, kind of be unstuck, now that the prisoners are actually working there. I don't know why that happens, but it does seem to. And I do have a little problem with the door here. Um, but I'll fix it in a second and I have to remove a little bit of wall to be able to fix it completely. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just checking my needs and I'm like noticing that my clothing is going up a little bit. And so there we go. I dismantled that door down there um, because there was a problem with like the entrance and how I made the building, but it's no not too big of a deal. So, <clears throat> we're just basically waiting for my laundry to get up, and my video will end, like, right around there. Um, I want to show kind of exactly how laundry works and how I'm, how I'm like, kind of planning on doing it. Um, basically, the laundry with clean clothes will go out to the holding cell. It'll get placed on all the beds. Your dirty laundry that's on the floor will get put into that basket. The worker will then take the basket back to the holding cell, and as soon as the worker is grabbing it and working on taking it back, not to the holding cell, but to the laundry, with the dirty clothes, a new basket with clean clothes can start to come out. So um, you really only want to have 20 beds, because the max number of clean clothes that can sit in the laundry basket is 20. So that's like the most efficient way, and then you can make another holding cell, and then you can send out two laundry baskets to each of the holding cells with 20 each, and it'll work like that. So there is an argument in making holding cells slightly smaller, like two-thirds the size of uh, the holding cell that I have currently, because I can fit more than 20 beds into that holding cell. Um, but if it's a little bit bigger, you can add, like, you know, phone booths and 
the pool tables and stuff, and it, it helps, I guess. Normally, I just put them all in my yard, and I just have my yard as a centralized place. Um, but this is fine. At least currently, I might move it a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going through and I'm searching all my prisoners now. It's just something that you should do until you get metal, de metal detectors up, and obviously I can't afford them right now. Um, I'm spending all my money on sheet metal for today, and then uh, after today I'll be able to, you know, have a nice spike, finish up my laundry, and be good on that. <clears throat> so yeah, my clothing is starting to get kind of high. The rest of this can be solved pretty easily, and I have them going and working again. I'm actually going to run up a sheet metal today, but it won't be like too much. They'll get most of the work done, and that's a lot of license plates for day number three. That'll definitely be some good income. <clears throat> so yeah, we're just waiting pretty much for the day to get uh, over so I actually have some money to be able to uh, finish up my laundry. But yeah, right in here, you can see the in the middle of that room, um, a bunch of people are standing around because I don't actually have sheet metal. Although there's some that are still going to be able to work because there's like the half-finished license plates um, still actually, you know, doing, like being made into finished license plates. But I just uh, kind of let some people stop working so that they could take care of some of their needs. And then I put them back on after the work shift was over. And now they have one hour free time to get most of this stuff down. Although I do think that I run into a little bit of a problem with anger. I think that uh, one of these guys starts to break tables. Um, so my danger level is getting pretty decently high. They really need to go to sleep. But yeah, I do have a little bit of a problem and I send in a couple guards. Luckily it's only just one, I think, one person. So I had a little bit of a, hol a solitary at the edge of that corner uh, holding cell. It, ho solitaries can be made pretty much any anywhere. <clears throat> it doesn't actually matter, so escort them to the solitary and send out my uh, physician, medic, whatever, to heal that person up. And then once I get money, my workers are, uh, will automatically repair uh, the table. So now I have money. You can see I'm going to just finish up my laundry. So laundry, put in my laundry machines. You don't need all that many laundry machines. Pretty much like one per holding cell is good. Um, and then like two laundry baskets per holding cell is okay as well. Um, but a couple extra is fine. and It doesn't really matter. You know, if you have the money, you might as well just make them. But And the ideal number that I've found is like five or six people working in the laundry. If you get any more than that, they will get stuck on each other when they like run out of things to do. So I'm just watching them shower because sometimes they get angry right at the beginning of the day when their hygiene and bladder are super low. Um, but making them sleep less actually helps that quite a bit. So I'm getting, I'm trying to get my power and my uh, water to my laundry before the work shift. And I actually think I have to like change around my regime a little bit to be able to make it. And I add in a couple workmen so that my scrap metal actually gets up to my workshop today. Because as you can see, I'm backed up on trucks right now. So I do have a pretty big clothing issue, but it will be solved as soon as my laundry and my work day gets through. And uh, I'll kind of explain like what exactly is going to happen when my laundry starts to get up and running. I'm putting a couple weight benches in because they do have a little bit of a trouble. Um, it's like not as much as them having trouble getting exercise, it's more about like not having to have them walk all the way down to the yard every time they have free time to get their exercise. So it's just like an opportunity for them to stay in the holding cell and be able to get everything that they need. Alright, so it's um, meal time and then I'm adding in a couple more tables because I will have prisoners coming in tomorrow, so I need to be prepared for them because one table can hold eight people. 
and my work schedule is getting started and I, you don't actually need power like right away you only need to run the laundry machines um, although if it's dark they might riot or something but you don't need water for sure but I do get power in time and I believe I get water as well and uh yeah, I'm just double checking to make sure I built laundry baskets for them, and I did. So as soon as they start working, they're going to head out with one of those bins. So as we can see, there's one guy, he probably has 20 clean clothes. It's not always 20. Um, also, like, this paving, I'm basically paving the way that he's taking um, with stone so that he moves a bit faster. It just helps speed up the process because clothing is one of those things that um, is pretty difficult to actually, like, get done and keep your prisoners happy with that. So anything you can help to speed along the process is good. So I'm basically just paving one path that he's gonna take. And he's gonna walk in and then everybody that's working in the laundry will come out and put clean clothes on the beds and then he'll start taking the, the uh, laundry basket back and then we'll have another clean clothes basket come out like directly after that. So if you put it on the floor, I don't exactly know why you put it on the floor. They randomly do that sometimes. And you can see some people from the bottom there are coming up to help him with the clean clothes. I'm adding free time. As you can see, I just changed my regime because the danger level is kind of increasing and they need to change their clothes like right now. So there we can see all the clean clothes came down. And that will just like instantly drop my danger level. So it's pretty like close to riot. <laughs> like. Uh, Three bars is pretty dangerous, but now it's down to nothing because my clothing got satisfied. So now I'm just going to put them back at working. And eventually they'll like throw all those dirty clothes into the bin. I'm actually having to like take some people out of the workshop because I don't quite have enough prisoners. And he's bringing back the uh, empty laundry basket. He didn't throw them all in because there weren't actually dirty clothes there before the laundry basket like started. To need, like the command was issued to bring the laundry basket back and then there we can see the uh, laundry baskets coming out again and they'll go back and put more clean clothes so that's kind of how it works and uh, with that like I think I'm going to be ending the video um, right in here shortly so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I appreciate like any comments that you guys have you just throw them down there and I'll try to respond to any questions that you guys have about the game um, it's pretty fun you know so yeah, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.